What's going on guys and welcome to the trailer breakdown for the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Yes, that's correct. The trailer just came out. We're going to be breaking it down. I'm going to be giving you guys my reaction to it and it's going to be super fun and super exciting. But of course, if you guys want to see me play this game on the channel, be sure to hit that like button down below. It's going to ton of likes on this video. Not only if you guys want to see me play on the channel, but if you're just excited for the game overall, let's spread some hype and just get excited for it. Anyways, let's go ahead and press play and begin the trailer. Okay. Our next game is a frightening new installment in a Oh my, look at that series. thumbnail. Wait, that's enough to break down right there. What was all that? Oh my gosh. Dude, that's like every section from the from the game. You've got baby, you've got working on Chica. Oh, I can't wait to pause this and break it all down. Holy. I think it just showed us every section from the game. FNAF 1. <gasps> Freddy's miss. Oh. Wait, what? How did Freddy get in the office? Hello? How did you get in there? Just casually watching the cameras, too. Watching the whole story unfold in front of you. Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Help wanted. Oh, that's... Oh, there's Mangle, of course. Oh, the jump scares. Oh, Nightmare Freddy. Marionette. What? You can't just throw all that in at the end. What was that? Oh, it's Here's still going. Here's some first footage. You'll try to survive different levels from the original games, as well as all new nightmares. What? She said from the original game as long er, as well as new nightmares. You've got FNAF 1. You Nightmare Freddy. What? Chica with the cockroaches on her. Apply the Fazbear Entertainment Rest. What is FNAF 3? Oh, Phantom Mangle, what are you doing there? Spring trap. Oh, oh, that's creepy. That's creepy. The five puppet Nights at walks Freddy's VR, you. Help Wanted, is the first virtual reality game in the Five Nights universe, and it's coming to PlayStation VR this spring. Oh my, this spring. Next, that's that's March, April, May. Okay, so that's all for that section. So we, we got to go back to the beginning. We got to see where it all began and just start from there. Okay, so the first thing I want to take a look at, though, is just the intro image. Like, before it even starts, look at this image right here. Like, we can just break this down alone. You've got Plush Trap right there. You've got BB, which looks like it's from Final Fantasy Race 2. So you can already tell you've got FNAF 4. You've got Final Fantasy Race 2, possibly. You've got Toy Freddy, but he looks like he's in, like, an entirely new location. Where is he at? Along with, of course, Spring Trap from FNAF 3. You've got the Cupcake and, of course, Working on Chica from FNAF 1. You've got Withered Animatronics from FNAF 2. You've got more FNAF 2 Mangle up there. Um, that looks like Normal Foxy from FNAF 1. You've got Baby on the right side right there, peeking into the closet. All right, let's just go ahead and play the trailer, though, and just break it down piece by piece. Okay, so we start here. Now, what's interesting about this whole section here, it seems to be kind of hinting at, you know, like, what's to come almost. Like, you can see on the top left, you got what looks to be a pizza right there. I don't know what that's from. Um, obviously, you know, we work at a pizzeria, so it makes sense. But then up here, if you look really close, it looks like we have Toy Freddy up there, if I had to take a guess, coming down the hallway. And then, of course, it flips to this image right here where you can see we have Foxy attacking. Along with down here, it looks like we have Mangle. Yep, coming in through the vent right down the left side. And then on the right side, it looks like you have some kind of phantom animatronic attacking, along with a look at FNAF 1 over there, too. Or no, that's FNAF 2. Oh, wait, we actually didn't get to see this in game, except for when the marionette attacked, which is right down the left side. But that's actually FNAF 2 looking inside the vent, I think. So that's like the left vent. And then, of course, baby right there. Man, there's so much happening. It's hard to even break it down. Wait, what is this section up here, though? You guys see that camera up there? Okay, anyways, besides that, though, you got FNAF 4 right there. You've got Nightmare Freddy attacking, along with Bonnie from FNAF 1 right there. But what is that cam up there? That didn't... It, it, that seems mysterious to me. And then, of course, it shows some more gameplay of what appears to be FNAF 1. You can kind of, like, see him switching off, closing the doors and stuff like that. And then right here, you got a first look at FNAF 1. Um, of course, the three animatronics on stage. Freddy disappears. It obviously backs up the camera. And we get to see that he is the one currently monitoring all of the cameras, which is... Very, very terrifying. I don't know if I'd want Freddy Fazbear monitoring my safety. I mean, he probably already killed us, though. Let's be honest. All right, so then it goes on to show the title for the game, which is, of course, Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. I think this is a really cool-looking title. I just love how it looks. I love the neon glow of it. And then, of course, we get a look at, uh, you know, just Mangle, just, just crawling her way right into the vent system and attacking us, along with a bunch of other things that kind of happen very quickly. Um, you can see, though, you also get a look at... 
before we go ahead and go into that next section, which gets super exciting, we also get a look at Nightmare Freddy and um, the Marionette, which we actually get a further look at him later on. But yeah, just Nightmare Freddy right there attacking. Super cool. Of course, the Marionette from FNAF 2. You can see the rooms are there. They're obviously in the background right there and there. So yeah, this is FNAF 2. I think it's going to be great if we can actually get up from the seat, though, and actually explore the pizzeria. You know, explore the whole location. But, I mean, I'll get into the my kind of gripes with the trailer later on. But still, um, this is obviously takes place inside of the closet. We're hiding from Circus Baby. We know she's out there. We peek outside the closet. We see her. We open the doors for whatever reason. That was really dumb. We have, like, a little lava lamp right there, along with some toys and stuff like that. A flashlight, which we might need for later on, if we survive this encounter, that is. And a little clock right there, too. So I'm assuming this is a section in the game where we're going to have to stay in here for a whole night or maybe a portion of the night. Obviously, it's early on in the night. It's 1 a.m. Obviously, you have to survive until probably 6 or 7 a.m. But it looks like we open the doors. Obviously, she sees us and she makes her way towards us. And yeah, you can take a guess what happens next. I mean, that also kind of proves that this is a night because when she goes to actually attack right here in between her legs, if I can pause it at the right moment, the timer right here switches to 2 a.m. So yeah, it is an actual night. This is something that you have to survive a full night of just you and baby, I'm guessing. Now, then it goes on to this section right here, which this is from FNAF 1, obviously. I mean, this actually, it's so surprising because you guys know we played FNAF VR on the channel, the fan-made version of it, and it looked identical to this. I don't know if the developers of FNAF VR Help Wanted just like saw that game and were like, hey, you know what? <laughs> this guy did a good job. Let's do what he did. Or, I mean, maybe this is just the only way that they could have really made FNAF in VR. But I love the fact there's like a timer right there. You've got the phone right there. Hopefully, we'll be able to actually pick it up. Our little tablet has all the cameras on there. They are actually labeled, but it looks like it's really hard to see. It looks like it says dining area. Um, I'm guessing that's parts and service. That's the bathrooms. But I don't know. I mean, I was hoping that maybe we can see that secret room where Springtrap is hidden on here, but it doesn't look like it. And of course, I look at, you know, just some of the different offices and stuff like that. And then we go to this. We're back in the FNAF 4 area. Now, what's interesting about this, though, if we go back to that area where we saw Baby in the FNAF 4 house, the clock was on the bed. This time, it's on the drawer. Obviously, the closet would be right here. So this is probably another section from the game. So that whole section with Baby is probably one part. And then the next part starts, and you have to go and deal with Nightmare Freddy. And, uh, yeah, he just kind of quickly moves closer and then attacks and, you know, I, I, like I said, I'll mention it at the end. But anyways, um, then we get a look at Chica. Obviously, we're working on her. We've got, like, the parts. We got the cans and stuff like that from, you know, we're in the kitchen, obviously. You've got croach or croaches, <laughs> roaches crawling all over her head and inside and outside of her eyeballs. And it just looks so cool. I really hope we're going to be able to fully explore the kitchen. It's not going to be super dark. We're going to be able to look in there and see exactly what this place looks like. And, man, it's going to be super exciting. Um, and then, of course, you know, just the cockroach is crawling all over her. And we're going to have to eventually work on her. Now, this next part is actually FNAF 3. So, if we go ahead and pause it at the right moment, you can see that this is going to be the, you know, little layout of the map for FNAF 3. Um, you've got the different vent systems. So, now it's all on one screen, which is perfect. You've got a button probably to, I don't really know, but um, you've got obviously a camera. So, you, you select the camera you want to go to with your hand. Boom, it pops up on the left side. He just selected the vent, which is kind of like close to him. Obviously, Phantom Mangle's in there. It attacks. It doesn't kill him, though, because it is just Phantom Mangle. And uh, what is that right there? Oh, that's a light or something. But yeah, you get a first look at, you know, Phantom Mangle and, of course, the FNAF 3 office. Over here on the left side, though, which is interesting, you actually have a laptop now. And this is to recharge all of your different systems and stuff like that. So it looks like, I don't know, like... I don't know how to feel about this because I thought FNAF VR was going to be like its own new experience. I mean, don't, don't don't get me wrong. It is definitely a new experience, but it looks like we're just going to be playing through kind of the different areas that we've already played through, but this time in VR, which I mean, I guess that's going to be cool. And of course, our first look at Springtrap right there, besides in the teasers that we saw, he's just creepily just standing over there watching us. Oh man, he is one menacing looking dude. Obviously, we got to reset the thing and he attacks. Now, this is my favorite like section from the trailer. The marionette just creepily walking towards us to come and get us look at its legs it's bent <laughs> this man had his kneecaps like snapped or something i don't know what happened to it but it's just it's yeah and then it attacks and just, once again uh you get that jump scare and then of course you get our final look at you know what it's gonna all look like you got the pizza again you've got toy freddy which i find it interesting 
I feel like this game definitely is going to have its secrets. It didn't show us everything. You know, it obviously showed us a portion of the, the closet. These two images right here. You got FNAF 3, FNAF 1, uh, Kitchen, FNAF 4, FNAF 4 again. Uh, look at Toy Bonnie in some kind of creepy angle. Like, I feel like these two right here, these three cameras these three like monitors there's got to be more to them i don't know it's something not only that but just look at the office that he's in the buttons for the doors are up there i don't know what this section right here i mean this could just be for the actual cover art or it could be hinting at something else i mean maybe this is some kind of secret room where the animatronics could somehow control cameras i don't know that's too far into it but still i just i find it to be a little strange i feel like there's still more to this that we have yet to see and of course we get the spring 2019 release date right there now that that was just it's an insane trailer i, I am so hyped for this i'm so excited I, I can't wait seriously i think this looks great but i do have one gripe with the trailer i think and I've seen this already because I've seen some reactions to when it came out. Like, I didn't watch the actual trailer, but I saw some comments. And um, a lot of people were kind of saying the same thing. The jump scares for the game. Like, if I can go ahead and just try to find one here. They don't look like how I was hoping they would. I mean, they just look like the normal FNAF jump scare of just the head shaking back and forth. Like, if we go to the marionette, like, look, it's just, it's head shakes back and forth. That's it. I was really hoping that we would get some unique jump scares, you know, maybe we would get, I don't know, just something where, you know, it actually bites your head off or it, it actually hits you down to the ground and, and attacks you or something, but it looks like we're just kind of get, we're going to get, we're going to get the same kind of jump scares that we've always gotten from Fights Rays, the ones that just kind of shake back and forth. I mean, that's cool and all, but I don't know, maybe I'm the only one. I was really hoping to have less of just, you know, these jump scares and more of something a little bit more unique i mean he's already taken it unique by taking it to vr but just the jump scares themselves i mean look it's just shaking back and forth that's all it is i don't know maybe they're gonna change that later on but i was certainly hoping for more in that regard but everything else for the trailer it, it looks incredible i'm so excited i mean like i said i'm not i'm not you know hating on this trailer at all don't get don't take that the wrong way i'm still super excited this all looks really cool it's just the jump scares aren't as scary as i was expecting them, them to be which i mean not that's not a bad thing actually because you know it's not going to be that terrifying when you get jump scared it's still going to be scary and you know what who knows maybe because i don't have my vr headset on right now it's not that scary to me but maybe when you have that headset on you're looking face to face with Nightmare Freddy, then you get scared. You know, I think that's what it's probably going to be. I think that's going to be scary enough just to see, it, like, inside of this thing's mouth as it's eating you. That's going to be scary enough. I mean, yes, the jump scares aren't what I want them to be, but it still looks insane. It still looks incredible, and I cannot wait. Like I said, if you guys can't wait too, and you guys want to see more videos on this game, be sure to smash that like button down below. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and you're looking forward to more Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted content. Because as you guys know, I got the trailer up. I want to say I was like one of the first to get that up for you guys. And same thing for content on the game. I'm going to be one of the first people to get it up for you guys, if possible. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.